Getting ready. Getting ready. Ready. Right, start us off. Getting ready. Getting ready. Hold on. Hold on. Got to get everything together. It's gonna be uh, bro. It's been crazy these days, man. I'm telling you. Every news headline, I just keep just reminding myself we live in a simulation, bro. It's going oh, crazy. Start us off, and my cousin saw news headline live earlier. <laughs> you should see the video. Crazy. You should see the video he got. Oh, bro. Oh man, life is wild. But start us off right. Start us off right. Get the lighting right. Boom, 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 boom. We are back with another edition of the Daily Glory Pod. I am your host with the most, man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, Glory Boy, with my partner in crime. Movie Malcolm Daily, Pop Culture Podcast. Yes, sir. Part of Katie Sign System. All right. Yes. If you need any car detailing, any signage for your business, trying to spread the word, get your word out. We right. got KD Sign Systems who helped us and they could hook you up to whatever you need. Now, in terms of their form, they're easy to contact, actually. Um, but, yeah, if you need to spread the word about your business out there or just, you know, wrap up your car. KD Sign Systems, thank you for sponsoring us um man oh man it is the week of october 12 wednesday 2022 the simulation is getting crazier and crazier <laughs> oh, what is going on in life right now what the hell so i'm working at 360 today yeah my cousin sends a video to our group there's there's four of us is me and then there's three of them and uh, he's like, look at what I saw working today. And this is right around the corner from where I was. This guy's mm. running butt-ass naked down to yes. And what is a going cop, on? There's a cop, like, eight feet behind him. Looks like a fucking cartoon, dude. I'm going to pull it up. I'm not sure. Like, no. It'll, it's, it'll be blurry it's enough. Going. The quality will be blurry enough. Again, the simulation is getting crazier. We got this. He's way past his Fuck middle boy. age, running butt naked. Come on, butt naked. Yeah, something went wrong. Fuck. Butt naked, bro. Early morning. God damn it. Yeah, there's a lot. There's yeah, a lot so of crazy it, things going on in that area. Come on. Whole lot. You got old dudes running butt naked. Then you got that teacher. With the oversized uh, yeah. tatas, titties. Tatas. <laughs> yeah, that, which has made international headlines, by the way. But, by the way, we got to get more into that because there's a whole there's a whole thing behind it. And it's it's not mm-hmm. like the teacher's serious about them. There's a whole thing behind it. We'll get into it later in the show or even right now. But, yeah, today, right now, this moment in time... Here in this area in the world, the simulation is getting crazier, bro. Come on, bro. Just tap out. I tap out. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. Right. Holy shit. I find it entertaining. Oh, so do I. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And on my end, you guys may not care, but on my end, I work in Square One, of course, the most ghetto. Square One's the nice, a very nice mall. Third biggest in Canada. Don't listen to the hype. It is ghetto as fuck. Because the other day, we were supposed to tape for the podcast, but a little shit, seven-year-old little shit with his parents who came in complaining about returning sunglasses, but the sunglasses were messed up. They didn't have the case and everything. That seven-year-old little shit decided to hide behind the front of the store, behind the the stanchions, and take a big old piss. And leave a puddle of piss <laughs> that I almost slipped on when I had to check the cameras. This motherfucker waited. So this is how it is, because Square One's a busy mall. So I'm like, how the hell did he get? 
he waited until all the guests like went out and up until so the very last even, customer. It's not even like he couldn't hold it. No, because he, he could have held it in a wet fucking washroom. That's not even the worst part, right? So yeah, he waits for the lady to go, the last customer to go out, and then he takes this huge piss. Whatever. The worst part is, is that they're visiting in his like parents and them. They're visiting in from India, so we didn't catch him until after they left. So <laughs> his parents don't even know that their kid is a sociopathic pisser. Okay, just pissing everywhere. Come just on, pissing man. Pissing everywhere. Fuck. I, I want I should have I should have acted quicker just so I could see a, like a live ass whooping inside the store because they're yeah, like that's another video like both of these videos I wish you could have pulled it up I don't know why it's giving me an error but both of those could easily go viral me. <laughs> oh easily bro work in retail working in the mall or we're just working like even at a dollar round or stuff makes you realize humans are really weird like there's weird stuff that happens every day that you, like, you wouldn't believe it until I show you on the camera. And I yeah. can show you. Exactly. You know what? That kid isn't the worst thing that happened. You know what? The other year, I, I'll, I'll give it a five or four months ago, an old dude. Are you hearing me, by the way? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. An old dude took... I swear on everything I love. I put this on my gram. I I can't I can't make this up. I can't make this up. This is Square One Mall, Mississauga, the third biggest mall in Canada. Everybody says it's nice. Uh huh. Ghetto as fuck, right? Takes a big shit inside the store, <laughs> deliberately, while he was trying to steal a pair of sunglasses. Did you give me that? Can't make sunglasses? it up. <laughs> I don't know, man. No kind I of think he got scared. That. What happened was when he tried to steal the sunglasses in the aviator section, which is near the front store, like he just wanted to make it a quick in and out. But like we're privy. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of like uh, thefts in retail, and it's only been rising with inflation and all this price and stuff. But yeah, there's a lot of thefts that happen every other day or every single day. And yeah, this old dude was one of them. And I think he got so scared when my manager caught him because, like, she was, like, grilling him that he just, yeah. like, he came in with the walker and everything. He just took a shit. Like, he just let it rip. And, like, it didn't even take five seconds for the customers at the under end, other end of the store to, like, notice and smell. Like, holy shit, what the f And my, it was a situation. Yeah, he had to take, he had to be taken out on a stretcher, like. Well, I was going to say, I wonder man. if he has, like, Crohn's or irritable bowel syndrome or whatever right hey for 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 everybody who's working that nine to five or like whether it's like at your job job or like just retail i stand with you bro i stand with you <laughs> ladies and john i stand with you because this shit right here man humans hey man i'm i'm not mad at uh elon musk's ai technology to eliminate us <laughs> eliminate shot. us all Oh yeah, my man. There's a lot been happening. Do you want to get into the the whole uh, Oakville halting teacher with the big boobs thing, or do you, or you got something I on the plate? I don't really know anything about it. I just like that's you're purposely going out of your way to get attention. Yes, I think. Yes. Okay. I want to know the backstory behind it? Yeah. Now, of course, this before the summer, this teacher, I'll say she, because you have to be in respects, but this teacher, her last name is Lemieux. I forgot the first time. I think it was Mark Lemieux. But um, this was back in the beginning of the year, of course, when he was a he, identified as a he, when he was a teacher. I forgot what it was, but... He was speaking out against how schools and everything and the whole climate is soft and how we're like pandering into all these, um, you know, kind of like social justice left the kind of, um, oh, we got to say these pronouns, that pronouns and everything. And he was 
kind of speaking against it of how you could say this, how the rules are so inclusive to the point where you could be anything and do anything and not, you know, get in trouble for it and it just be accepted. And he was so outspoken that the school board actually punished him for it. Now, this happened up until like beginning of the year, up until um, June. So the conspiracy theory is behind this. I'm maybe I don't know if we could edit in the screenshot of it, but this is him like the same guy retaliating by, OK, you motherfuckers want to want to want to retaliate against me and punish me. OK, I'm going to play you at your own game. And he's putting on the big who's in the in the wig and whatever to like say yeah i can and, do whatever i want and there's nothing you could do and his whole master plan is if they do do anything to him he could sue the school board for discrimination oh, yeah, sure. or she so, can sue the suit they weren't implants right <laughs> no obviously. i thought they were implants and then somebody told me so I, like because i i don't know i just assumed in this day and age it was something that far <laughs> No, they're they're definitely not that like she, like her or her back would be killing her, would be like destroying her right now. Mm-hmm. Even if even though it's like prosthetic or fake or whatever, it's probably hurting her back right now. But her if those were like implants, her back would be non existent. Yeah. Holy no. Nah. Like well, yeah, that's the whole conspiracy theory or theory behind this whole thing because yeah, like he's or she rather is playing them at their own game and everything and trying yeah. to punish them. And they're playing like he's playing the long game and he's going to go or she, I keep forgetting, is going to go as long as possible because he knows as soon as they fire him or like let him go do anything. OK, lawsuit discrimination. I'm going to yeah. use boom. Like this is the ultimate judo move. Like just <laughs> <laughs> like, one of, like this is hey again the simulation is getting crazier and crazier but yeah what are your thoughts on it people are i don't know people are unpredictable they're i have no thoughts on it <laughs> <laughs> safe very safe i don't know what to say yeah man it's uh it's getting crazy out here oh by the way lift up the lift up your uh the gain on your mic Or maybe it's. By the way, lift up the gain on your mic so yeah, I can hear you a bit more. Your your voice. Okay. Well, perfect, that perfect. might just be that might just be me. I'm kind of quiet. I'm not feeling the best. Oh, it's not what happened, man. Just a, little everybody... cold. just a little cold. Yeah, everybody's everybody's been getting sick these days. I had a shirt come in. <laughs> Some people might not like it. I'm surprised. Oh, the peanut butter shirt. No. Oh. Hell no. I didn't know you could get these considering it was um, limited time in early 70s. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Burn, Bundy, burn. Bundy's late sh- What's Ted the Bundy. backstory behind it? Te- oh! Holy yep. shit. Yep. And then at the bottom it says That's Bundy's fire. last charge in life. They were selling these outside of the prison when they... Gave him the electric chair. <laughs> and I looked it up on Wish, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to see. Because I was watching the documentary a while back, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. If you can actually get it. And it was like, yeah, you could. I'm like, fuck it. That is sick. I'm not going to wear it. You have it in black? You should have got a know. hoodie. I, I would have gotten it in black for sure. Oh, yeah. They but, didn't have a hoodie? They didn't have it in hoodies no, or anything? It's just this one. Fuck. But this That's was sick. good, too. Drinks well with others. Drinks well with others. I like that. You should hang that shirt. Like you shouldn't even like. You should only wear that for like special <laughs> occasions. As messed up as that sounds, <laughs> like like you should just like save that shirt. The burn like, bunny just, burn one. Even for Halloween. Oh yeah. Right? Well, that's what yeah. I mean, like. I wasn't gonna wear it out. I feel like people would probably not like it, but I don't think people would really get it though. Unless yeah, you've... it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're unless right. you've seen the documentaries or done the research, you're not gonna know what it is. Bundy. I think they'll they'll know the Bundy part. But I think right now during this time, 
because of the Dharma. Uh, I don't know if you watched Dharma's uh, little Netflix. It's going crazy, by the way. Most uh, stream, biggest opening week for Netflix numbers and streams and everything. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer's... Because uh, they have the double. They have Evan Peters and then yeah. the documentary. I saw like 20 minutes of the documentary and I'm like, Evan Peters fucking killed it. He did such a good job. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Can't, like, you can't... The parents... You know you know what the parents always say for all these series? It's like, I can never see the signs. <laughs> He's a good boy. I can never see the signs. <laughs> and then, then you then you hear the whole backstory. Yeah, parents, domestic Well, violence, yeah, some of them, then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Bundy, there wasn't really anything there. But some of... Or, yeah. Bundy and Dom, there wasn't. But then, like... Yeah, Gacy and some some of the other ones. They had such a twist. Oh on. yeah, yeah, Edmund and yeah, like his mother would. Um, I forgot what the first name was, but for one of the serial killers, Edmund, like his mother and father were at odds. They divorced, so he, the mother, looked at the son Edmund as a reflection of the father to the point where like it was so much hatred she would lock him shoot downstairs in the basement and that's where he would sleep that's where he'd eat schooling and everything and so i'm like okay yeah i kind of understand why you uh kind of want to just kill everybody <laughs> viciously <laughs> repeatedly i yeah. get it dharma bundy it's it's crazy because you know what psychopaths they um that's the only thing you can't cure mentally like with psychopaths they think they're so perfect so arrogant and so intelligent, yeah. which they kind of are. That's kind of a... Yeah. Um, well, and other, again, other group. than Dahmer, he knew he was fucked. He just couldn't help it. Yeah, he, he, he couldn't at all. Dahmer was very... Because, like, even to the point when the inmate killed him, like, he didn't even fight it. Like, the inmate said he he just took it and, like, just looked at him in the eye. Like, imagine yeah. that. <laughs> he's just stabbing so many, hopefully not. Right. But he's just... They're just like... <sighs> Twisted. Wish this came sooner enough. Like, damn. <laughs> yeah, man. Way to go out. In other news, Tom Cruise is expected to take a rocket to the International Space Station for a movie. That sounds about Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> sounds no, about Tom Cruise. <laughs> First civilian to do a spacewalk. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I was about to say, would you even consider Tom Cruise a civilian? Yeah, not like, at this point. The guy has more nah. licenses than fucking God. Right? Like, oh. He's got like helicopter license, plane license, motorcycle, like, car, like he has his own, truck. Yeah. <laughs> he's got everything you can get. That's like a thrill seeker. Like he's a real life, he's the highest paid stunt double. He's without yeah, the stunt double. Well, that's what I love is like it'll show. Like, I follow a bunch of movie stuff on Instagram, and it'll show uh, famous actors and their stuntmen, and then at the end, it'll just be one picture of Tom Cruise. <laughs> or Jack and Chan. Jackie Chan, too. Jackie Chan. Yeah. Shout out to Jackie Chan. There was a movie That's he so did stuff. where mm-hmm. he broke his leg, and then he still continued shooting. Like, there's a scene where he's basically water skiing without skis. Yes. It's just his legs. Yeah. He had a cast on during filming that. So you already broke your leg, and he's water skiing on a broken leg. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, Tom Cruise. I forgot which movie. I know. Forgot which movie you're talking about because I was watching like this kind of um, documentary thing. But yo, Tom Cruise is built different. Minus all the weird Scientology stuff. We don't gotta get yeah, into okay. that. Yeah, he's he's a. Nah, he, all due respect, he's a he's a goat. He's a goat. No way around it. He's a goat. He's bro. a real life superhero. How old is he? Is he like in his fifties? Six or some shit? He's still doing this stuff. Yeah, that's what the that's what's so crazy. He held on the side of a fucking plane taking off when he was like fifty three. Uh, sixty. Sixty. Bruh. Six, you're like. What you're like? No, I just googled it. He's sixty. That's ridiculous. He's wild, bro. He's a wild boy. He's a Tom wild Hanks. Boy. He um, I saw a clip. He was 
they had like a Woody from Toy Story on a talk show. Yeah. And he's like, is that you? And Tom Hanks, like while the Woody's doing his voice, Tom Hanks starts smiling. He starts laughing. And the host is like, is that you? He's like, no, it's my brother. He's like, all his brother does year round is voice Woody shit as Tom Hanks. Really? Like, yeah, so like there's like a bunch of animated shit, like say Disney World yeah. or yeah. toys and whatever. And he's like, Yeah, he's like, just call my brother, he'll do it. And he sounds exactly like him. Or well, I mean then the toy does. I don't know if he does, but Yeah. It's crazy. So that's kind of that's the first like animated stunt double I ever heard of. <laughs> Tom <Dumb> Hanks. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I guess <laughs> yeah, let me just call him my brother. Do it himself, but... Are they so they're not twins? They're just like he's just his older younger brother. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. I think That's Jim crazy. though. Jim. Jim and <laughs> okay. Tom. Jim Hanks. Tom Hanks. That's such a, like. Yeah, that's a family of pretty boring names. The son Colin Hanks. Right? Except for Chet. Jesus Christ, the son. What the hell happened there? The chromosomes between the. It must be the mother's side. That's oh, like wild. Yeah, wasn't he like fucked in the head or something? Not even messed in the head, you could say. Like he's a, uh, cause he he did that Jamaican that Jamaican stuff. Like he that's when he went viral because he was at the red carpet for the thing Oscars or Global Awards or whatever, and uh, he was like, "Hey, oh man, a bum," da, da, da. and then he went viral, and then now he's just under this moniker of like. John B esque white boy that just loves black women kind of type <laughs> thing. He's yeah, that's his thing. Yeah, hey. well, no, it's, hey. he, again, he probably just wanted to go viral because he's like, I'm Tom Hanks' son, and nobody knows about me. What can I do to get there? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey man, do you do your thing? His, his pockets are good either way, bro. Um, do you know anything about this Barney thing? Elaborate. Uh, well, remember last time it was like Barney is there's a new documentary about how Barney, like, fuck, he, like he was boozing on the job or something, and it was yes. fuck, like a horror show. The guy whatever. who played Barney, the guy who played Barney, he's got was death like some lunatic. There's death threats against him, against him now. Yeah. What is going on, bro? Why is he yeah. death threats against Barney? I want to know what he did. Like, what the fuck? Why there, is it, like, death threats from the fans? Or, like, just death threats from, like, people higher ups? Like, or, like, who just know stuff? Uh, I'm pro- I think everybody. Actor who voiced Barney recalls receiving death threats after Backlash. But Damn. I think it was actually something, like, he was a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, Yeah. I the guy by the everything's coming to light. Like these people who play these characters are because you know the guy who did a uh, Sesame Street or who played the character was like this uh black guy. He was um yeah he was a weirdo if you if you might add <laughs> like he used to like touch kids and all that stuff. Like these people are weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, these well, people are, I think you know who I'm talking about because this is like a big thing. Don't but it sounds vaguely familiar but. I mean, you probably got to be a little weird to do that shit. Right? Like, he was a grown man when he did it. Holy shit. What keeps going on with your mic? You're talking about I mine. I don't know, but... bro. I don't know. I'm just going to do That's this. okay. Tonight's going to be a short one anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was crazy. Like, he was a grown man when he started out this whole thing. Like... Like, imagine living in your mama's basement and just looking at a... I'm going to just stick my hand in here and see what comes of this. Boom. Legendary career as Sesame Street character. Like, he played a bunch of different characters. Let me know that wasn't the only thing he was sticking his hand up. Anyway, next topic. Next topic. Yeah, okay, fair. Um, <laughs> so, my uncle sent me this video on TikTok. Sorry. And... I don't know what to yeah. make of it. Yeah. Not that okay, one. Not right. that one. Not that one, right? Okay, so those, look at the lights. Those three lights, yeah. okay, in the sky. Yeah. Three lights now, in the sky, I see it. The weirdest part? That? Okay, see that building? Okay, yeah. It's too dark. That's uh, That's across the street. 
from me. Yeah. Whoa. So I what? I would say it's edited until I knew there was this that where I fucking live. Your dad so sent that to you? My uncle sent it to me. So then oh, your I started, uncle said that up, to you, I started yeah. looking, looking up. I'm like, is there anything more? <laughs> Wait, what was the point of the three lines? The, the, what were they trying to expose? It's just it's three lights like in like this in the sky, flying in the sky, in the sky flying and, around, right, 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 and it looked fucking trippy. So they videoed it, but then I'm looking and I'm like, that's the building across the street. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. There's a lot so, of weird stuff going on in your area, man. Around that Burlington, Halton, Nova area, I wouldn't be surprised if that's where like. That's where the teacher came from. She's not even like a human. Yeah. Like, he just came extraterrestrial from no three dots. <laughs> Shout out to her. Grew up around here in war. There's always cops around here, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. There's a couple raids recently in my complex. <laughs> yeah, just a couple raids coming out in the complex, man. Yeah. Hey, it's that's, good no, entertainment if you're here when they happen. <laughs> okay, so how are these raids happen? What are these raids? Are these like drug busts or like theft busts? What's happening? Drug, one was a drug bust. One was a pervert yeah. thing. Jesus. Like child child porn kind of a thing? I think so. I don't know for sure, but... Yeah. Um, The drug bust, though, yeah. They what a up. building to live in. What an area oh, to yeah. live in. Ooh. Dude, my buddy, my buddy Ben was over, and like I'm walking him to his car. And four yeah. hundred covers roll in. They get the battering ram out. Ben's like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna watch the show." I'm not <laughs> like, <laughs> like, there's no background check to live in the Burlington. Like, we just want people come in. Yeah, it's perverts. Well, because <laughs> this one guy, everybody. he had like I don't know, like probably twenty weed plants on his patio. What are you expecting? Oh. You're not hiding it. Oh. <laughs> like, I don't. Know. Maybe he. Maybe he just. But yeah, there's no excuse for that. Honestly. I don't know. There's literally no excuse for that. Yeah. Or maybe he just thought, hey, weed's legal. Let me just... Ah, <laughs> but I don't know. Well, and they didn't end up using the battery ram because he just came freely, but... Dude. Haircuts? I don't. What's happening with haircuts now? Like, ever since the haircuts. pandemic... My mom's a like hairdresser. The prices, I don't... the prices have been rising for, like... Oh, well, I don't know. I can ask my mom if you really want to find out. <laughs> I want to blame her for the prices. All right, like barbers now, it used to be like ten, twenty dollars. Now it's forty-five dollars or forty dollars per you. cut, bro. Sucks to be you. I love my Is barbers. That why you, so you cut your own hair. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. I didn't <laughs> cut shit. Shut up. Oh man. <laughs> I love it. No, no, no. I love my barber. He dialed pay for that. Like he's a he's a friend of mine or whatever. But like, yeah, the price has just been rising for barbers, man. Just to get a simple yeah, haircut. I have no idea. Like it's just everything's inflated. Well, yeah, because it could be like I remember when my mom had her own shop, yeah. they got rid of like the credit card stuff because the amount they had to pay, it didn't they weren't making any money. They were losing money just because of Having the machine. Yeah. So. Huh. That's wild. You went five like, years. they just looked at the prices of food and just like, yeah, well, let's just raise that too. Let's just raise our shit too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, man. A whole lot going on during the simulation. Should we do movie of the week? Make it a small one tonight? You know what? Yeah, we should. Make it a quick episode. I gotta go eat anyway. <laughs> right? I have so much shit to do. Movie of the week. Okay, I'm gonna go with Legend. I haven't done that yet. Um, as a movie, it's okay, but Tom Hardy's acting is unbelievable. He plays true story. Mm. Two these two twins that were gangsters in London in like the fifties, sixties. And he plays two separate brothers. Yes. And they're both totally different. I don't know how he does it. He plays the That's same crazy, like same method. guy twice yes. and yeah. His acting is 15 out of 10. The movie is 7.8. Yeah. Cuz yeah, he was um unbelievable. 7.8 Shamrocks out of 10. Like actors who do that, who play multiple roles in a movie, like Tom Hardy doing that role. And then what's that movie by Eddie Murphy? 
Seriously? where he played <laughs> the it wasn't Doctor Do- Nutty Professor, yeah. where he played multiple characters. Oh, I haven't seen that, but I've heard about it. Yeah, Nutty Pro- That's that. I respect that that the most above anything because yeah. you have yeah. to be in a certain frame of mind. But multiple frames of mind to like remember those lines to remember yeah. the mannerisms of the character like precisely and then yeah. like that's give why it, I have so, it's crazy. That's why I have so much respect for Seth MacFarlane. The way that he's able to sing, like do pitch a voice for like ten plus ca- different characters. Yeah, like what he can do with his voice is fucking insane. And then, like, he'll mock another character as one character and doesn't even sound like it sound. It all sounds like own personalities. It's weird as shit. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's a hidden talent, but 7.4 Shamrocks out of 10. 7.8. 7.8. You lifted it a bit. <laughs> it went 4.4 4. 4 Shamrocks. No, no, it was 7.8. 7.8. 7.8. My bad, my bad. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> Now that has been another edition. Oh yeah. shit! Of the daily daily glory pod, <laughs> my mic is my mic is um, yeah, needs some intervention. Needs some Jesus right now. <laughs> but shout out to KD Science Systems. That's right. For sponsoring our podcast. We will catch you when you catch you, or when we catch you, not you when you catch you. Hopefully, you don't catch yourself because. Yeah, this is, this is again. This is why it's a short podcast. We got a lot going on. Let's go cut this short. We're gonna see you when we see you. Peace.